What is up, my people? I'm in the house. You are in the house. Uh, welcome, welcome. This is Arnold, aka Vitamina. Um, I promised you to uh, to actually send uh, to actually post a video about uh, Maestro Laercio's um, class. So I I do. I wanted to upload some some footage from the actual workshop, but I need to uh, check those uh, still. So. Um, I'll probably upload the harder and and uh, and actually I want to share a main main insight and main part of his uh, class of uh, last um, last Saturday it was yesterday. Now, first of all, um, let me let me tell you a little bit about my preparation. I want to talk about my personal experience, uh, how I went there with what kind of energy and how I created that and also like mm, what Master Lercio, um like something about his classes yeah about his teachings and my experience of that so so first of all like it was an Angola Angola setting um, the the organizers were uh, was Capoeira Angola, uh, uh, Holanda, Holanda, and uh, I know these guys. You know, we we've, we've been in contact uh, a bit, and 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 um, and the setting was Angola. So, what what I I liked about my preparation this time was that I just uh, went there as myself, meaning, uh, for example, with with clothing, right. I'm not an angolero. I'm I'm a capoeirista who likes to play capoeira and also capoeira angola. Now, what I did, I just had a training pants, like a white one. I would also wear this to regional uh, batizados. Uh, it has pockets. It's a pretty neat uh, a white white pants, and I wore shoes and a white shirt. Now that's it. Now. It's not a common way for Angoleros to wear such a pants, right? So uh, I did not disguise myself as an Angolero. I just went as a guy who uh, was ready for for a training, right? So for me, that felt more natural than uh, than wearing the whole Angola suit, you know. Um, so that's that's my first my first thing, and. Um, I really was there with my own energy, wanting wanting to learn about whatever was there, you know. Um, and I think this is the key for all for for everything that you do. That uh, know what you like, know what you what is your energy, uh, and uh, of, of course you can adapt to the the situation. So I wore my shoes, I dressed white just to be neutral. Um, no, that's that's fine. Um, but yeah, know from where you come from, what your intention is, and then actually go. So I went there, and um, yeah, it was it was a nice meeting with Marcel Lercio. I I, I uh, directly noticed that his way of teaching, um, he's teaching from his lineage of uh, Capoeira Angola. He he. Um, he mentioned a few foundations of Capoeira Angola, and he, he and we we covered four of uh, the basic defenses, negasas, uh, of Capoeira Angola, and um, I liked it. And from those four uh, defesas or negasas, he built so the uh, number one, and he. We did number one, two, three, four, and then he he added a bit more there, took the other one, added a bit more there, took the other one, added it a bit more there and there also. So you have clear building blocks for your game. Um, let's say for your Capoeira technical game, because it was um, it was also a lot of Jenga, and that's the other part that I liked. He, I would say he's, he's dancing a bit in, in in his jenga and um, yeah, also how I saw him before before the the meeting last Saturday, um, how I saw him on YouTube, you know, playing. He's he's moving a lot of legs, you know, a lot of 
um, a lot of brincadeira, a lot of body movement. And he said, well, this is the signature uh, of the capoeirista. Everybody can do a habjahaya, everybody can do an au, and, but, but, but nobody can do your jinga. Um, now, this is true. What I liked was that he gave options for moving. Uh, but in the end, I believe, and this is not his teaching, but more my teaching, that also we can discover our personal moves, our personal improvisation in the jinga. Like me, for example, I like to giro. I like to turn. I like to spin. Um, I have pretty quick feet, so I like to do. I like to dance as well. You know, like pop, 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 and be, be, be moving with my upper body as well. Um, so, yeah, what, what he did, he, he showed some of his improvisations or some of his ways of, um, um, dancing, right? Uh, within the Jenga and, and that forms part of the Jenga. What I would do also is to let people improvise. So that's, well, you saw it on this channel. Um, so you have your jinga, some basic movement, and then just move, see what happens. Uh, I liked, I liked a lot that he stressed also the the um, the connection with the bateria and especially the gunga, and that that can also give you energy. And he mentioned during the harder also several times that there can be more connection with the bateria and that the communication goes back and forth. And for for me, when when I I when I'm in the hard and and the, the battery is really nice, really good energy, then um, then I, then I go, you know, and and especially the what well, the gungan variations or the viola, when this is played really well, I can I I go, my body just goes, and the game my game really really steps up, you know, so um. Yeah, it was it was great, you know. Um, yeah, I'm 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 talking with the guys uh, of the organization. Uh, how we share the the videos, uh, they don't like to share so much, so I cannot share everything. Uh, but what I do, I will definitely uh, I'll send them some footage as well, and I will probably upload my own game, and um, maybe maybe another one or two, yeah. So, but I promise you this video, uh, uh, thanks for your patience. Mm, I, yeah, things are coming, man. I, I, uh, this Tuesday, so coming Tuesday, in, in two days, I will train with a philosopher, with Adolf, um, a buddy of mine who just, uh, yeah, you saw him in the new, new cup with uh, in town video. So I'll train again with my son. So that, that, that'll be nice. And, uh, yeah, I love the music. I love the music and the singing. Mm. Yeah, I'll I'll do a live video about the music musicality class of Master Live Show, okay? Because uh, this was a lot of a lot of cool uh, strategies to learn music, to learn songs, and how he built that up. It's really um, yeah, it's really nice. So uh, thanks, Master Live Show, if you're watching. Thanks, uh, Ilma, Roni, and uh, Fricke for organizing the event. Uh, from uh, Capoeira Angola, Holanda, and um, yeah, that's it, man and woman. Enjoy your Monday. Be sure you get up tomorrow or you get up Monday morning, and and you have a nice positive target in your mind. You give yourself energy. You look yourself in the mirror and say, "Yes, that's me. And I'm gonna kill it today, this week, today, every." Time to time to go to bath. Uh, time to relax. Time to clean clean out all the all the energies and um, yeah, that's it. Ciao. I'm uh, I'm out of here. See you later. Poop poop poop.